Hi, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. I have not talked about bird flu for a while, and there have been some recent developments in bird flu, also known as avian influenza. So in the United States, new detections have been reported in several states. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, there have been outbreaks of highly pathogenic avian flu, and these have been confirmed in both commercial and backyard flocks. That includes a turkey farm in Swift County, Minnesota, that housed about 34,000 birds, and an egg-laying farm in LaGrange County, Indiana, with nearly 20,000 hens affected, and smaller flocks were affected in Pennsylvania, Montana, and Ohio, Idaho. In the past month alone, more than 6 million birds across 62 flocks have been impacted nationwide including 34 commercial farms and 28 backyard flocks. Now, Minnesota has seen the largest increase with nearly 600,000 birds affected. These outbreaks are reminding us that bird flu continues to circulate among animals, especially during migration season. Now, at this time, there are no new human cases that have been reported in the United States, and the CDC still says the overall risk to the public remains low. Now I want to do an international update. In China, health authorities recently have confirmed two new human cases of H9N2 influenza. That's a little bit different. Uh, one case involved a two-year-old boy in Hunan province and another one a 70-year-old woman in Yangshi province. Both became ill at the end of September so, so far in 2025, there have been 21 cases of H9N2 uh, reported in China, most of them in young children. The infections are typically mild, but they highlight why ongoing global monitoring of these bird flu viruses remains so important. And as bird, activity, bird flu activity rises again in the United States, it's a reminder of how closely human and animal life and health are connected. Strong monitoring systems are an essential part of a strong public health system, and they will help keep us safer. I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Thank you for listening, and I'll continue to update on public health developments that matter. Folks, take care and be well.